and welcome back to Grim Dawn. I am so close to creating the next level of my Gunslinger's Talisman, updating it to the Marauder's Talisman, um, that I've gone online to find out where I can locate this rare troll bone smasher that I need. Um, and it and out, used all of my damn ether shards doing it. Yeah, I'm probably also going to use all of your money shortly. Um, oh no. But we'll get to that in a minute. Anyway, um, so we've got options. We can either endlessly farm particular trolls and hope that they drop which to be honest i'm not that keen on doing just yet or there's a secret merchant in this area who wow this is unexpected yeah so there's a secret merchant in this area who sometimes sells them apparently i'm just backing off a little bit so i thought we'd go and find him and um uh if you have a look at your map, yep. you can sort of see, um, I, there's no way to ping the map. Um, so if you look towards the rift where we, uh, from us to the rift, yep. and then go into that big black area. Oh, in the where, mid oh yeah. yeah, I see there's a little edge bit that's sticking out there yeah. up to the north. So that's where the merchant is. And we get there by going down here. What? Oh my God. And then oh, through, through, through more, here. More secret paths down the river. I feel like a hobbit. Going on an adventure. Yeah, it's not much of an adventure. This is, this is basically the end of the adventure. Ooh, I wonder if he sells derpa derpa things. I don't know. Let's have a look. Um, troll bone smasher, troll bone smasher, troll bone smasher. So I can buy a bunch. Um, I'm just going to go and double check if it actually is a troll bone smasher that I. Ooh, he's got a blueprint for a skeleton key. Oh, I've already Which I've already that. learned. Yeah. Staunching Kaiman's badge. Kaiman's badge of power. He's got some pretty cool stuff, actually. Bone size. Yeah, I mean, it's level 52 stuff, but. Right. So I'm just going to get back to uh, the um, homestead and just double check with the. Uh, blacksmith that it is actually troll bone smashers that i need um while i'm doing that do you want to chat with the uh, two other guys that are there yeah uh let's go talk with dala a lot of crazies out there if you're looking for some exotic arms to defend yourself then better vault is just the man you're looking for oh it's a aren't troll you... bone crusher i need damn it aren't you rovers what about non-violence Perhaps you haven't been paying attention but the world's ending we're not lying down and letting the apocalypse walk all over us it's just unlike most rovers, that's all. Let's talk to Big. Lay a finger on Benevald and you're a dead man. Uh, you guarding this man. Benevald's earned himself a reputation for collecting rare and precious goods. So he's had his fair share of thieves and cutthroats. Nowadays, I suppose, thieves are the least of our worries. Let's see. These are crazy rovers. I suppose you could call them crovers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't have what I need. Sad face. Sad face indeed. But I can keep checking occasionally and maybe he'll get one in. Well, we can go straight back through your rift to my rift. Yeah. Which will just... actually put us right by the fort entrance. Just double checking that there wasn't anything that I'd missed. Right. Here we go. The rock. Ah. Oh, disappointment. Well, thanks for the... Uh, um, all the crystals, like the tons of crystals, that slab loads <laughs> of crystals that you gave me. That's okay. I mean, just remember that I ran through fire to get those. Yeah, a couple of them. Um, and by fire, you don't mean fire at all, do you? The conflagration fire. Some of them I ran through fire. Was Some it of them I picked fire? up off the ground. Was it well, yeah. fire? Ether fire. This is a pretty cool place. Yeah, it feels quite cathonic. Yeah, I was like just about to break these uh, these altars and some uh, bugs popped up and out of the ground behind me. So I had to like spin around and splat them instead. It was dramatic. <laughs> really dramatic, was it? Well, it felt dramatic. God, those are sturdy barrels. Dramatic or traumatic? Dramatic.
another one did that, like, turn into a demon to not die the first time trick. Oh yeah, I never assigned my uh, devotion point. I should do that in a minute. Oh, that's a very good point. Uh, this looks like a safe place by the fire. All right, All right, devotions. I'm going to be going first point in the Blaze of Nadan, which admittedly is kind of weak. 2% chance to avoid melee attacks, 2% chance to avoid projectiles. But that's going to allow me to get the next one in a moment, which is plus 40% pierce damage, which is all of the awesome. I just added 15 health regen per second, right, multiplied that's, uh, by whatever I've got already, which is lots. Yeah, that, that's nothing to like turn your nose up at. Did you see that murder? Totally killed the barrels. Yeah, makes a change. Normally you miss boxes and the Oh, like. shut your face. <laughs> It was one time. One That's time. That's all it takes, isn't it? Blood for Cathon. Hey, Cathonic Plaster over there as well. Did you pick up Blood for Cathon? I did. I shall okay. read it in a moment. Oh, clear my throat. All right. I tried to console them. I tell them everything will be alright. Their eyes go wide with fear as I find the spots between their ribs and push the blade in. They always <laughs> cry, and it makes me a little sad. They do not yet understand. I watch the blood as it flows down their naked legs and into the large basin that I've placed beneath their suspended form. Cathon calls for every drop. To ensure I get it all, I begin by making shallow cuts. First the legs. Then the torso, and lastly the arms. Slowly their struggle rescinds and they accept their fate. At last they find understanding. Their blood is not theirs. They're only holding it for another. And now it must be returned to Cathon, whom it rightly belongs. At last their fear is peeled away and they're happy to give the blood freely. Devoted servant of Cathon, Bella Hind. Well, that was only slightly creepy. <laughs> well, they can't all be crazy, loudmouth zealots, can they? I, I quite liked my engineer, you know, was very practical about what he was talking about. Yeah, we rigged up the pumps in the basement area, so we've got like two entire tubs we can fill. That's uh, union work, that is. <laughs> yeah. Time and a half working on Sundays. Yeah, I wanted to do that as well. They're on the wrong side of the wall. Hasn't always stopped me in the past, though. No. <laughs> hmm, we've missed a large area back near the start. Yeah, I kind of want to go back and get it. Wandering back. All right, I'll put my rift here. When you get near there, put yours down. Sure thing. Look around this way. What I wouldn't give for dashing strike at the moment. I think it would have actually been faster to go through your rift to my other rift and then come back in from outside. Yeah. There's some people we missed as well. Let's just kill them. Rift going down. Oh, boss person. Come in. Oh, is it ever at the bloodbound? Wow. And there's a cathonic plaster on the floor. Let's not stand immediately in everything. He died quickly enough. Two cathonic plasters. Yeah. Up 
here. Oh. A little collapsed bridge thing. And this goes back around this way. All right. And this is just back to yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go through your rift back to my rift. Then you mean through your rift to yeah, my rift? Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it! I always get cause and effect around the wrong way. Finish exploring this bit. So hard when you're dealing with time. Because <laughs> they're all trying to shoot through the wall like failures. <laughs> Says the guy who stands up against walls and punches them just in case his sword might go through. Well, you know. Tradition says it has worked. Tradition says. Tradition says. I'm not sure you know what the word tradition means. I've done it in the past and I'm going to do it again. That's pretty traditional to me. I thought tradition needed to be a generational thing. No. It just needs to be something that you repeat. Like going to the pub. Or to the toilet. I suppose you could have it. <laughs> or oh, breathing. Yeah. I breathe in the traditional way with my lungs. I was going to say maybe breathing in a, in a certain manner. Like in and out. Oh, so now you're clarifying it. <laughs> Doesn't mean it wasn't like correct originally. Just, you know, not the entire truth. Is this all there is in here? I keep oh, thinking well, we've got the, be... uh, the stairs up, I suppose. Uh, yeah. It looks like there should be a secret at the other side of this wall. From, like, the earlier bit. Yeah, a little bit. Like, there in the middle. I'll go around and have a look. I'll have a look down this side. Oh, yeah, there's definitely, like, a pit down there. Nah, it's a blocked off thing. Oh, I thought um, you were talking about this bit down here. Uh, yeah, I was not. Ooh, there's definitely an area that I haven't been to. I've clicked. I've clicked on a box, and my dude is finding the box. Damn it. All the way around there. Yeah, I know. Was there anything worth it for you? Um, a couple of yellows. Well, a yellow. Yeah, I'm not even picking up yellows now. Why can't I press Y to sprint? <laughs> Alright, I've gone up the stairs. Missed another box. Oh. And a barrel. Reload my health. Uh, not my health, my mana. And a weapon rack. Alright, I'm coming up. Oh, I just realised. I levelled up and I haven't assigned my points. I should do that. Because that would have happened right at the start of this, uh, this episode. Alright, let's do that now. So, in Nightblade, we have gone all along these. And we're still putting points in over here. Or we could bump even more points in Shadow Strike and make it even nastier. I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to put some points in Blade Barrier and increase the health regen it gives us, so it's still relevant. So that now gives us 510 health regen per second. Which is pretty extreme. I mean, that's like a, a decent chunk of a heal now. Bannering over here. Oh, cool. Soul Shard. Look at you finding all your little secrets and stuff. Ooh, Origin of the Slith, page two. 
have a read. Oswald Hargate firmly believed that the Aether could be used to create new life. Convinced that he could supersede the gods, Oswald set out to perform his heinous research in a, to this day, unknown location. Though not much is known about the exact detail of his research, the results were quite clear. Calling his creation a slith for its slithering movements and snake-like lower body, Oswald triumphantly announced his findings to the Arcanum Society. The abomination bore the torso of a man and the tail of a snake. Though its reptilian snout was unlike either species. Its eyes stared back at you with a hint of human sorrow, though it was clearly a dulled mind with no indication of human conscience trapped within the slith body. Those attending were shocked by the blatant disregard of the gods and their domain. Following a brief trial, Oswald was charged with endangering society and was imprisoned for the remainder of his life. Endangering society. Specimen was destroyed and with its ashes scattered to the winds. With Oswald behind bars and the slith dead, all believed the nightmare was over. But they were wrong. So basically, it's all one dude's fault for Frankensteining a dude and a snake together. Yep. That's pretty much exactly as it happened. Did you just, like, avoid all these things? I didn't go that way. Oh, okay. Well, that would explain it. You might notice the side of the map that I'm on. Yeah, that's like through here, isn't it? No. How did no. you get in there? Oh, I came through here. Yeah, so you did go through the room. It's just just, you're on the just here, yeah. The different side of it. All right, I'm going to head back. Oh, right. Aveline's note, page one. We've been on the run for like weeks now. <laughs> the meals are always on our heels, spreading like wildfire across the countryside. The children are starving. The few bites of food they managed to scavenge on the go aren't enough for all four of us. You missed an ornate sure strong box. I'm not sure how much more of this we can take. Word on the road is the cult of the consultants accepting members that they have food and shelter for all. I've always pictured them as heretical lunatics howling at the moon as they bathe in blood. But the promises of safety may be too much to pass on. Thalon cringes at the thought of being seen among the Bloodsworn, but we agree it may be a necessary evil in order to survive. Our children deserve to eat. Just apparently they deserve to eat the blood and flesh of their friends. Yeah, I didn't actually fully explore that. I was just trying to find my way over to you. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, go off to that far point. Operation Farpoint, you say? Yeah. Wait, this point? Uh, no, oh, next right, one. No, next one. Ooh, Gilded Vestment of the Flesh Hulk. <laughs> Flulk. Flesh Hulk. Looks like you've got some cathartic problems in here. <laughs> There's your problem. <laughs> There's your problem. Uh, some human remains and a metal strong box up here. Not a great deal. But it's just like the other side of that corner bit. And a bridge that seems to go on and on and Ariston. Yeah, that's going a long way. All right, I'm coming back to you. So what's down here? Uh, just a box. Oh, yeah. A box and a body. And then the Bridge of Infinity goes off that way. I think we clear out this big, like, temple-style room. Yep. I want a cardiger. I being all the harbinged. Devil touched ammo. That's for you, right? Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> run, 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 run. Stamp. Run, 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 run. That's basically me. <laughs> That's how I play this character. 
Vanish, reappear, area of effect. Run, diplomacy stamp. Mm, the food ration. I wonder how long it's been sat in that chest for. Oh. Bannering. 400,000 years. All that for a soul shard. Uh, you liked Dread Skulls, didn't you? Uh, possibly. I don't remember what they do. Where is it? Definitely just picked it up. My eyes, they do not work. <laughs> is it on a different page? All right, just oh, there it is. Oh yeah, hell yeah, I love these. Yes, all of the yes. Oh yes. Thank you. That was that was a worthwhile trade. So good. Amulets and medals. I was just thinking, did we finish exploring that? But yeah, we did, didn't we? Oh, that's a big blood portal. I'm assuming you can see it as well. No. Ah, yes. <laughs> that might be the Dark Veil vale gate. Really? Nah. I think the gate is a literal gate. This is something else. I can't get into it. <laughs> I like that if you actually tried clicking on it. I thought about it and then I thought better. Well, the last time we didn't really have a choice when we got pulled through a giant portal, so I figured this time I'd just be all in. Well, we did sort of have a choice. It's, it was an accidental click, wasn't it? Oh, wait. This is the boss. Bathe in blood. That's strange music. Okay, something just popped up on my map. What's that up there? Stairs up. I don't have that on my map. And Kazora's uh, Sigil of Kathon. That's yeah, the one we need know. to kill. Behind All the right. Iron Gate. Okay, what have I got in the way of buffs? I've got Bloodfang Oil. And I'm thinking, impactful. just nip to town and sell everything. Yeah, I've only got one thing to sell, but sure. I got loads. But then I think you went back part way through, didn't you? Oh, no, I've just not been picking up yellows. Uh, I'll give you a good price of what I've got left. Uh, that's no good. So, this I was sort of looking at and thinking might be worthwhile wearing. I'll give you a good price of what I've got left. So 344 four to 4212. Oh. It's got a lovely ruffled collar on it and it really offsets my eyes. 2964. 2948. No, that is worse. Soul shard. Check the claw. Yes, it's the 5% spirit probably. So sell that, sell this. Oh. Look at this. This is coming along quite nicely. Yes, it is. I think I might have another one, actually. Oh. Give me a while and I will think about finding it. Sell, 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 sell. I think sell, every sell. now and then my smuggler's stash is duplicating components. Really? I think so, because every now and then I come back in and I find extras next to stuff, and I'm meticulous about the way I stack them. Hey, yeah, see, I just go auto sort sort. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that's not for you. Right, so that's dread skill. Partly I do it because it alphabetizes things. No, I think I already gave you my dread skills. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, I one. didn't. Okay. It's because oh. they're a bigger component part. Yeah. So, how do I, uh, is it control click to split? Oh, whatever, yeah, you can have both. Thank you very much. Ah. Right, so the completed one. 
is awesome. That is very nice. So yeah, I will complete the other one and then I'll have one for my amulet and one for my medal. In fact, is it possible to... No, it's not just possible to put it straight on there. Although I could... Nah, it's not worth it. I'll keep an eye on I was thinking I could go all the way back to Devil's Crossing and take on the, the bit off it. But that's a lot of effort. I'm going to head back and I'm going to stand ready for this combat. Okay. It will not be long. I am on my way as well. I might have opened the gate. I'm not silly enough to go in, though. Yes, you are. I might have gone in. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, God, jazzy music. He is almost, like, half dead already. Diplomacy. Backing off and jumping off. Oh, God, he dodged my jump. First stage dead. Oh gosh, he's bigger. Yeah, now I was thinking when he started moving like that, that was going to be a first stage. Backing off so I can jump in and stab. Oh, that was 12,000 damage. Backing off. Woo! Blood for blood. Chthonic Blaster and Carol's Tome and Final Sermon, The End of Times. Yeah. Okay, well, I shall read the final sermon. Bloodsworn supplicants of Cathon, it is with great purpose that we gather here today for what will be my final sermon to you. You have devoted yourselves completely, forsaking all past relations, earthly positions, and free will. Scientology. You have proven that you are finally ready to become part of a greater whole, to receive the glorious gift of reunification. I must remain behind with the others to finish our great work, Scientology. Yes, even <laughs> as you depart your lives, you will advance this broken world one step closer to the end time. The time where the dismal, suffering world will become reunited with Cathon, making the oldest of the old whole again, and righting the great wrong perpetrated millennia ago by the false gods. These upstart gods who manipulated the course of our existence set themselves up to be the objects of worship and have lived off our blood and toil for ages. The end time will also bring doom. Doom to the wayward ethereals, past agents of the false gods, who were betrayed and then cast into the formless ether once their purpose had been served. They have <laughs> hindered us, slaughtered our brethren, and tried to claim dominance over this world. Yet, we must also thank them, for it is the ethereals who have unwittingly made possible our ascension by destroying the Empire and its Inquisition. No longer does the Inquisition hunt us, suppress our truths, or deny us access to our sacred places. Unshackled from the strictures of the Empire, people have awakened from the false dream of civilization, and our ranks have swelled. Not knowing the history of our work, oh, this goes on. The Ethereals <laughs> are ignorant of the doom that we will awaken. They cannot surmise our end game, and once they realize what they have set in motion, it will be too late for them to stop us. Our most devoted brethren march with legions of the void for Necropolis. They need only prevent our enemies from breaching our final line, for even as they attack our forces, the blood they spill will feed our resurrection ritual, where once we suffered our greatest defeat, our ultimate triumph shall be reborn, and the Loghorian forerunner of the end time will carry the thousand screaming voices of Cathan into the world and usher in a new age. It's like it it's walking around holding a sign up saying all blood matters. Yeah. Oh, that was... That I, was I not feel... one to start with a low voice. <laughs> I feel like I've given my throat a workout from just reading that. All right. Uh, can you come here? Because Carol's chest, for me, says locked by a powerful presence. Okay. Think... I didn't know if I'd be able to open it, but I wanted you to try instead of me. Now... 
I don't know if this is good for you. Uh, a barrel? Well, it's not really a barrel. It looks like an ice gun. It's kind of... It, yeah, it does look like... Hang on. I'll pick it up. Oh, ice to meet you. <laughs> Get out. Um, the one that I found is this. Oh, well, that's kind of nice if, like, I, I was all ether-based. Yeah. And what do we have here? Oh, a bedchamber. Oh, a pile of human remains. Oh, how naughty. And an ornate strongbox. <laughs> how, how naughty. Oh, also a clock. Can you hear it ticking? I can. Oh, scrap. No ticking. <laughs> I love it. Totally destructible terrain. Almost totally destructible terrain. All right. Ooh, the Astakhan Road. I'm not sure if this is really a road or a bridge. It's a bridge. This isn't a road. They're a bridge over a road. Things. It's not even a very good bridge, actually. Ooh, trolls. We will find your blood gouger leg thing. Bone Smasher. That's the one. You know what you're looking for. I'm just killing things and have, like lifting up troll legs and going, will this do? No. Will this do? No. <laughs> uh, we're onto the Goblin Sky Clan. <laughs> Sky Goblins and the world of tomorrow. <laughs> There's a rift up there. Let's go to that. Yeah. Totally diplomacy to save you. Right, let's go back to Homestead and turn in this quest. Oh yeah, there's actually something we can do. That's kind of cool that we've made it all the way through that. I can't help but feeling we've missed something around Griver's Mill, but I think that's uh, just like we might have already sense. done that. Yeah. Why do you have to? It's just a, a sense of you know the map looks what like there should there? be more to it, but there probably yeah. isn't. Why do you have such a grim look on your face? What happened out there? Because it's the grim. is dead, but I found some disturbing information on him or in him, uh, around <laughs> him anyway. Let's see. Let's see it. I'll be Captain dead. Zomer is silent as she reads through the cultist notes. Well I'll be damned. If the well bastards pull this off, it. we may well we slit our own throats. This scenario is well beyond my pay grade, <laughs> or would be if I were getting paid. You'll need to bring this to Creed's attention immediately. So, um, oh, I got a different one. I got a chill surge ring. I've the Inquisitor? Creed of your I've actions. already informed he Creed of your recent actions. He is most eager to speak with, speak with you. He needs to Show him this. what you've shown me. He needs to see this. I will speak to Creed at once. Um, so I've actually got two parts of those uh, royal things now. All I need is the uh, seal. Oh, you got Chill Surge. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it would kind of go with that Frozen Gun thing. But the Frozen yeah. Gun thing is cold damage, and I am everything but. <laughs> right, let's put the rest of the stuff down while this is all going on. Anyway, that's definitely enough progress for this episode. Uh, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, join us again next time for Grim Dawn when we uh, pick up speaking with Inquisitor Greed and continuing on this homestead plotline.